Now let's discuss about the conditional statement. So we are starting with the if else statement. So when actually we use a conditional statement, suppose we have a scenario. Suppose user is entering any number dynamically. Now suppose he enter the 10. Now based on the given number, if I had to find out if the given number is a even or odd. If the given number is a even, then print even. If it is odd, then print odd. This is my question. So how actually we will, we can solve this? So in this case, I have to put some condition, right? I will check whether the given number is divided by 2, then I will say it is a even. If it is not divided by 2, then I will say it is a odd. So in that case, what is happening? I am putting some condition and based on that, actually I am trying to find out something, right? So in that kind of the scenario, we use a if else condition. Now let's understand we have a multiple scenario. First is the if statement, then we have a if else statement. How actually we can use if elif and else together and also we will see nested if statement. Now first let's discuss about the if statement. So our first scenario is like what I had to do. I had to take a input from a user. So what actually we will do? We will create one variable marks and we will take a user input. Means user will uh, input their marks dynamically and based on that we had to find out if the marks is greater than 33 then we will say he is a pass. He pass on the exam. So how actually we can create that. So, so let's take a user input. How actually we can take a user input. What I will do I will first create one variable. Variable name I will give num. And how to take a user input. We can use a input function right which we have learned. Input. What I will say enter your marks enter your marks and what I will do I will print num I will print num now if I will execute this it is asking enter your marks so suppose I am entering my marks 10 it will print the 10 now let's check the one thing you have to remember whenever you will use this input right whenever you will use input always the type will be data type will be string Data type will be string. So if I will check type num and if I will execute, suppose I am entering 30. You can see it is considering a string, but the 30 should be an integer, right? Because we are using an input function, that's why it is considering a string. So how actually we can convert into the integer? What I will write int under this int we will wrap this. Now if I will execute again, now suppose I am entering 40. You can see now it's converted into the integer. Now coming to the question. So first we are taking a user input. So we are taking a user input. We are converting into the integer. Now we have to check if the given number is greater than 33, then print your pass. So how actually we can write a condition? So for that we will use a if condition. What I will check if num if num greater than 33, then what I have to write colon the syntax is first you have to write if and then you have to write condition then colon then once you will enter it will start with the space like it should start from here right but in, in the conditional statement how actually we have to start we have to start with the space first second third from here you have to write now what you will write if num is greater than 33 if number is greater than 33 then what I will say print you are pass. You are pass. Now our code is ready. So what actually we have written? We are checking if number is greater than 33, then we are saying you are pass. Now let's execute. First it will ask enter your marks. So suppose I am entering my marks 80 or 70. Now you can see it is printing you are pass. So this is a if statement. Now let's discuss about the if else statement. Let's take the same example. Let's take a same example. With if we are also use the if else. So what we will do? Our scenario is like if number is greater than 33 then we will say you are pass. If it is a less than 33 then we will say you failed on the exam. So how actually we can create that. So this will be the same only right. User input will be same. So if condition will be same if number is greater than 33 then we will say print you are pass else so after that you have to enter and here we will write else 
colon enter this also will start with the space you have to write print held on the exam so what actually i am writing first we are giving a if condition if it is greater than 33 then you are pass otherwise else we are saying you are failed on the exam let's execute it is asking enter your marks so let me enter 60 you are pass so when i am entering 60 it is coming here it is checking it is greater than 33 means it is printing you are pass now let me execute again now let me enter 10 you can see you can see it is printing failed on the exam because 10 is not greater than the 33 that's why it is coming into the else condition so that that's how actually we can use if and the if else now let's discuss about the if elif else so suppose you have to you have a multiple conditions how actually you can write now we are going to discuss about the if elif else if elif else if elif else we use for the multiple condition so suppose my scenario is like if if number is greater than 80 if number is greater than 80 then i had to print grade a grade a and i had to check if number is greater than 60 then i had to print then grade grade b and if number is greater than 40 then i will consider grade c and if number is greater than number is less than 33 33 i have to print fail so these are the condition i have to write so how actually i can write the condition for this so what i will write first i will take a user input this will be the same right first he will enter a user input num input we are taking a user input now we will write a condition if first we will write if the first condition is number is greater than 80 then we will say he got the grade a so what i will write if num is greater than 80 then what i will say print grade a grade a now i have to check if number is greater than 60 then what i will write so instead of so this is my first condition right but i also i have to write another condition if the number is greater than 60 then it should be a grade b so how actually i can write so instead of writing again if what you have to write elif 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 number is greater than 60 then what i will write print grade b grade b and if number is uh, greater than uh, 40 also we have to write so i will write, write elif num is greater than 40 print grade c and if number is less than 33 then it will be face otherwise what we will write elif number is less than 40 let's make less than 40 or you can write else fail else fail else fail fail so what have we are writing if uh, what we are checking we are writing a code like this so if anyone is entering his uh, marks so suppose he is entering marks which is greater than 80 suppose the user got uh, more than 80 then he will get a grade a if he is greater than 60 then he will get a grade b if he is greater than 40 then he will get c if it is less than 40 then it will come into the fail now let's execute first it will ask enter your marks so let me enter a marks uh, 20 or 10 so you can see it is printing fail directly it is coming here because the marks is not uh, uh, greater than 40 60 and 80 right so directly it is printing fail now let me execute 
so let me execute uh, 45 marks I got so you can see it is pr printing grade C now let me execute now let me execute suppose I am getting a 68 69 so you can see it is printing grade B because 69 number is greater than 60 right so it is printing the grade B now let me execute suppose anyone got 19 marks so you can see it is printing a grade A so whenever you have a multiple condition then you can use the first one will be the if condition and then again you have to write another condition then you can use elif and you can write your condition and uh, similarly you can use a multiple elif condition and then finally you can use a else condition so that is the example of the if elif and the else now nested if we are going to see about the nested if number is 0 then you have to print a 0 if number is greater than uh, number is less than 0 then 0 then you have to print uh, negative and if it is number is greater than 0 then you have to check it is a even number even even or odd you have to check check nested if means you will use a multiple if condition so this is the question i have so how actually i can write so first i will take a user input so how actually i can take a user input this is how actually i can take a user input right i will write a condition first condition is like i will check if the number is greater than if number is greater than 0 or not if number is greater than 0 means i will print it is a positive positive number number if anyone is entering the number which is greater than 0 then I will say it is a print a positive number now I have to check and if anyone is entering number greater than 0 and also if the number is divided by 0 then I will say it is a even otherwise I will say it is odd so how actually I will write I have already written one if condition under this I will write another if condition so that's why we call it as a nested if I will check if number equal equal to 0 if number is divided by 0 and remainder is 0 then I will say it is a print even it is a even number else I will say it is a odd number this is the odd number odd number odd number now suppose anyone is entering the uh, number as a 0 so what I will write elip condition elip num equal to 0 if anyone is entering number 0 then what I will 0 right it is a 0 number 0 number else I will print print negative 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 so what we are writing so what actually we are doing first we are taking a user input and then we are checking if the number is greater than 0 then we are saying it is a positive number as well we are also checking whether it is a divided by 2 or not if it is a divided by 2 then we are saying it is a even number otherwise we are saying it is a odd number and suppose if anyone is entering a number as a 0 then we will print it is a 0 number else if it is if anyone is entering number which is less than 0 then it will come into the negative number so that's how you can see if if we are already using under if again we are checking another if so that's why we call it as a nested if now let me execute enter your marks so suppose I am entering a negative 1 so you can see it is coming as a negative because number is uh, less than 0 right so it is directly printing the negative now suppose I am entering a 0 so you can see it is printing the 0 number 0 number now suppose I, I am printing 30 so you can see it is saying it is a even number it is divided by 2 right now suppose I am entering 11 so you can see it is saying that it is a odd number so like that we can if you have to use any conditional statement we can use a if else so we have learned about how actually we can use if statement if else statement if and elif statement and the multiple if statement also we have learned so do practice you will get better idea